This is the um, video solution key for the problems in the second worksheet we were doing last class. And again, you know, I'll remind you these are the formulas we're working with, which I'll always give you for the PPV and the NPV. These are the correct formulas. I believe at the end of class on Tuesday I gave you the incorrect formulas. And of course, on any quiz and an exam, I will give you the formulas, so you won't, there won't even be an issue, but just so you know. Okay, um, we did um, this problem with TB. I won't go through this again. Um, the one thing that I want to point out, and this is for your own, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, interest, your, your, your own knowledge, is that um, the PPV here is very small, okay, for the tuberculin skin test, which means that if you have a positive test, there's less than a 2% chance you actually have it. And what this is attributable to is the fact that the prevalence, which goes here, is so small. Remember, when we convert this to a decimal, this is 0. 0.0013. Okay. So but when, whenever you have a very um, low prevalence, the PPV is always very low. <clears throat> Notice, on the other hand, it does not affect the NPV. So this is good. This means that if you have a negative test result, you can be over... 99.9% .9 sure you don't have it. One thing I want to emphasize is that you should understand what this is, okay? If I ask you, for example, and we did this in class, but it's a le legitimate quiz or an exam question, um, you know, you get back this result, compute the PPV, and then I might ask you, would you be very concerned if you had a positive test result for this disease, given these, you know, um, characteristics of the test, and you would say no, because there's less than a 2% chance you really have it, given that you have a positive um, result. Okay, um, next problem was well, dealing with HIV AIDS. Uh, when AIDS first came out, the tests weren't as good as they are now, so here was the sensitivity and the specificity, still good, but not as good as they ended up being. Um, the prevalence of AIDS in America is roughly um, 0.06%, so that's an actual value. All of these values are correct, by the way, in this paper. They're all, they're all real estimates. And notice that when you put this in, even though the sensitivity and the specificity are really high, these tests are very reliable. Again, the same observation made earlier still holds because the prevalence is so low. Notice the PPV is actually very small. 16% is roughly... One in six chance, okay? It's the same as playing Russian roulette, okay? So the chances that you actually have it, if you had a positive test results, are still very low. They're roughly one in six. And again, it's all because, it's not because of the test. It's because of the prevalence. It's so, so small. And here I've, I've, I've written out the numerator and denominator and written it out to five decimal places and then rounded it to four and wrote it as a percentage. Okay, when you do the same thing for the NPV, basically you find out that the NPV, again, because the prevalence is very low, this number is very large. It's very close to 1. So this ends up being a very large number again, just like in the TB test example. When you round it off to five decimal places, you get 99999, which rounds to 100% when you round to four decimal places. Okay, um, this is the better um, test for AIDS. So since then, they've improved the, the test a little bit. Um, the sensitivity is almost 100% specificity, very close to 100%. But again, when you put these numbers in, okay, you get this result to five decimal places, you round it off, it's still only 23% chance you actually have it, given that you have a positive test result. So notice really... If these are any different than 1, no matter how close to 1 they are, or 100%, this number is still very low. So basically, improving the test took their chances from 16% to about 20, 23%. Still very low, though. Okay? So this goes back to this fact that when the prevalence is very, very low, the PPV is also going to be low. And again, the NPV, as you might imagine, it can only improve, okay? It was 100% last exam, last example. It's going to be 100% this example. 
when you do all the numbers, do, do, the, do the calculations. Okay. Um, this was a this was a, a repeat of the previous one. Sorry about that. Just ignore it. Um, the oral herpes we did in class. Okay. Um, you can check your numbers, but um, these are the values we got. Notice here that the key thing to notice is that the PPV is very much higher. Why? Notice the test is actually worse. The sensitivity and the specificity are worse than AIDS. But what happened? The prevalence increased. It went from 0.06 to 57%. Huge difference. And notice how that changes the PPV. So if you take a test for oral herpes and it comes back positive, you can be 90, roughly 98% sure you actually have it. Okay? So the interpretation of this test result is very, very different than AIDS. Interestingly, when you do the NPV, it actually decreases, and it's because the, the test is actually worse, and the prevalence is still, is still pretty high here. So you end up getting about 70%, which is not good, because what it means is it means that um, when you have a negative test result, there's still a 30% chance you could have it. That's not good. So this is one of those cases that we talked about earlier where we said the worst thing that could happen is you could have a negative test result that was, that was, that was wrong, a false negative, right? And so here the, the chance of a false negative is actually very high. It's, it's, about, it's about 30%. That's not good. Okay, the last one. Um, so there's actually two types of herpes. They're, they're called herpes simplex virus 1 and 2. This is the second one, okay? And notice again that the test is actually very, very good. The sensitivity is very high. Specificity is very high, okay? But only 16% of the population has it. But notice that the PPV, when you compute it out, this, this number, while it's not huge, it's still a lot. It's, it, this is not what you would call a rare disease, okay? Like AIDS that has less than 0.1%. TB, malaria, these are rare things, but herpes is not. Okay, it's over it's over 10%. It's, it's, not, it's not rare. So in this case, because the prevalence is still relatively high, notice the PPV is very high. So this means that if you have a positive test result, there's roughly, you know, 75% chance, just kind of ballparking it, you know, a three and four chance that you're going to actually have it. Okay, so there's so this has a lot of positive predictive power. All right, the NPV. Um, again, these are these are really good. This is pretty high, so the NPV is pretty close to 100% when you when you round it off. So this is actually better news for you than the oral herpes because if you get um, if if you if you if you get a negative result here, you can be very sure almost 100% sure that you really don't have it. Okay, so these things are important in interpreting tests and and uh, we'll, we'll do some more of these on the quiz and on the exam, but there's a lot of fun examples you can see.